Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Flamin Kalava here and today I'm finally going to be talking about my opinion on every Kanto Pokemon. Now Kanto was the very first region and it's the region that Game Freak kind of shoves in our faces at because nostalgia. This region introduced 151 Pokemon with a lot of them being well known since this was the very first region. Now I'll also be including Meltan and Melmetal in this video since we don't know what region they are from and they were made to promote the Let's Go games, which took place in Kanto. And I'll also be counting Alola forms and Mega Evolutions in this video, but not Gigantamax forms since I included them in my Galar video. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Starting off with Bulbasaur. I always thought this Pokemon was good, but now I love it even more thanks to the Twitter account Bulbasaur Propaganda. 6 out of 10. Ivysaur. One of my favorite middle stages. 8 out of 10. Venusaur. Definitely my least favourite of the line, but it's still pretty cool. 5.5 out of 10. Mega Venusaur, I'd say it's okay. 5 out of 10. Charmander, I used to love its design, but now it's just eh. 4.5 out of 10. Charmeleon, it's okay. 5 out of 10. Charizard, this Pokemon may be overrated, but it's my favourite of this region and one of my favourite Pokemon of all time. 10 out of 10. Mega Charizard X. Probably my favourite Mega Evolution, 10 out of 10. Mega Charizard Y, definitely not as good, but it's still pretty amazing, 9 out of 10. Squirtle, it's pretty cute, 6 out of 10. War Turtle, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Blastoise, it's really cool, 8 out of 10. Mega Blastoise, eh, I'm not really a fan of this Mega Evolution, 3 out of 10. Caterpie, it's pretty cute, 4.5 out of 10. Metapod, eh, 4 out of 10. Butterfree, I like it because of the anime, so 7 out of 10. Weedle, eh, 3 out of 10. Kakuna, eh, 3 out of 10. Beedrill, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Mega Beedrill, really cool, 7 out of 10. Pidgey, it's just a bird, 3 out of 10. Pidgeotto, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Pidgeot, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Mega Pidgeot, it's pretty cool, 7 out of 10. Rattata, eh, 3 out of 10. Alolan Rattata, eh, 3 out of 10. Raticate, eh, 3 out of 10. Alolan Raticate, they made it worse, 2 out of 10. Spearow, eh, 3 out of 10. Fearow, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Ekans, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Arbok, it's pretty cool, 6 out of 10. Pikachu, it's the mascot of the franchise, so I really like it, 8 out of 10. Raichu, Definitely not as good as Pikachu, but still pretty good. 7 out of 10. Lolan Raichu. It's better than regular Pikachu and regular Raichu in my opinion. So 9 out of 10. And it's probably one of my favourite psychic types as well. Sandshrew. It's pretty cute. 6 out of 10. Alolan Sandshrew. It's also pretty cute. 6 out of 10. Sandslash. It's okay. 5 out of 10. Alolan Sandslash. It's okay. 5 out of 10. Nidoran Female. It's okay. 5 out of 10. Nidorina. It's okay. 5 out of 10. Nido Queen, decent, 6 out of 10. Nidoran Male, prefer it over the female version, 5 out of 10. Nido Reno, pretty cool, 6 out of 10. Nido King, really cool, 8 out of 10. Clefairy, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Clefable, cute but annoying to battle, 4.5 out of 10. Vulpix, really cute, 7 out of 10. Lolan Vulpix, better than the Cantonian form in my opinion, 9 out of 10. Nine Tails, it's a really beautiful Pokemon in my opinion. 6 out of 10. Alolan Nine Tails, again better than the Kanto version, 9 out of 10. Jigglypuff, it's eh to be honest. I know it's a pretty popular Pokemon and it's in Smash, but I'm not really a fan of this Pokemon. 4 out of 10. Wigglytuff, same here, it's just okay, 4 out of 10. Zubat, it's annoying, 3 out of 10. Golbat, it's so ugly, 2 out of 10. Oddish, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Gloom, it's pretty ugly, 3 out of 10. Vileplume, it's okay, probably give it like a 6 out of 10. Paris, it's okay, 4 out of 10. Venonat, it's okay, 4 out of 10. Venomoth, it's okay, 4 out of 10. Diglett, eh, 3 out of 10. Lone Diglett, eh, 3 out of 10. Duck Trio, eh, 3.5 out of 10. Alolan Duck Trio, really stupid, 3 out of 10. Meowth, decent, 6 out of 10. Alolan Meowth, eh, 4 out of 10. Persian, it's decent, 7 out of 10. Alolan Persian, eh, 4 out of 10. 
Psyduck, I loved it in the anime, 6 out of 10. Golduck, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Mankey, eh, 4 out of 10. Primeape, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Growlithe, it's cute, 7 out of 10. Arcanine, really cool, 8 out of 10. Poliwag, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Poliwell, it's really cool, 6 out of 10. Polyrath, it's okay, that literally is almost no difference, 5 out of 10. Abra, it's kind of annoying, 4 out of 10. Kadabra, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Alakazam, really cool, 7 out of 10. Mega Alakazam, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Matrop, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Machoke, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Machamp, pretty cool, 6 out of 10. Bellsprout, eh, 3 out of 10. Weeping Bell, eh, 3 out of 10. Victory Bell, eh, 3 out of 10. Tentacool, annoying, 3 out of 10. Tentacruel, annoying, 3 out of 10. Geodude, annoying, 3 out of 10. Alolan Geodude, it's okay, 4 out of 10. Graveler, eh, 3 out of 10. Alolan Graveler, eh, 3 out of 10. Golem, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Alolan Golem, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Ponyta, cute, but I prefer its Galarian form, 6 out of 10. Rapidash, it's pretty cool, 7 out of 10. Slowpoke, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Slowbro, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Mega Slowbro, it's pretty dumb, 4 out of 10. Magnemite, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Magneton, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Farfetch'd, I used to hate this Pokemon, but after seeing the Galarian form, I like it a little bit more, but I do prefer its Galarian form, 4 out of 10. Doduo, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Dotrio, pretty cool, 7 out of 10. Seal, a little too plain, 5 out of 10. Dugong, again, it's too plain, 5 out of 10. Grimer, eh, 4 out of 10. Alone and Grimer, disgusting, 4 out of 10. Muck, eh, 4 out of 10. Pretty much only like it because of the anime. Alone and Muck, it's decent, 6 out of 10. Shelter, nothing special, 3.5 out of 10. Cloyster, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Ghastly, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Haunter, pretty cool, 6 out of 10. Gengar, really cool, 9 out of 10. Mega Gengar, it's a pretty good Mega Evolution and it's shiny is incredible, 7 out of 10. Onyx, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Drowsy, eh, 4 out of 10. Hypno, eh, 4 out of 10. Krabby, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Kingler, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Voltorb, eh, 3 out of 10. Electrode, it's just a flip Pokeball, 2 out of 10. Execute, just a bunch of eggs, 3 out of 10. Executor, eh, 4 out of 10. Alolan Executor, really cool, 6 out of 10. Cubone, cute, 5 out of 10. Marowak, decent, 6 out of 10. Alolan Marowak, really cool, 8 out of 10. Hitmonlee, it's decent, 6 out of 10. Hitmonchan, it's decent, 6 out of 10. Licky Tongue, eh, 3 out of 10. Coughing, it's okay, 4.5 out of 10. Weezing, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Rhyhorn, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Rhydon, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Chansey, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Tangela, eh, 3 out of 10. Kangaskhan, it's okay, 5.5 out of 10. Mega Kangaskhan, it's annoying, 5 out of 10. Horsey, it's cute, 6 out of 10. Seedra, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Goldeen, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Sea King, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Staryu, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Starmie, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Mr. Mime, eh, 4.5 out of 10. Scyther, really cool, 8 out of 10. Jinx, the worst Pokemon ever. Minus 10 out of 10. It's so ugly, why on earth does it exist? Electabuzz, it's kind of cool, 7 out of 10. Magma, pretty cool, 6 out of 10. Pinsir, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Mega Pinsir, eh, a little too much, 4 out of 10. Tauros, really cool, 7 out of 10. Magikarp, I mean it's Magikarp, so you can't really hate it, it's a meat Pokemon, so 7 out of 10. Gyarados, pretty cool, 8 out of 10. Mega Gyarados, a little too much, 4 out of 10. Lapras, it's so beautiful, easily one of my favorite Pokemon from this region, and probably my favorite Ice type as well, 10 out of 10. Ditto, I like its idea, 7.5 out of 10. Eevee, it's so cute, 8 out of 10. Vaporeon, it's really cool, 7 out of 10. Jolteon, one of my favorite evolutions, 10 out of 10. Flareon, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Porygon, really cool, 7 out of 10. Omanyte, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Omastar, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Kabuto, eh, 3 out of 10. Kabutops, it's okay, 5 out of 10. 
Aerodactyl, really cool, 8 out of 10. Mega Aerodactyl, it's cool, 6 out of 10. Snorlax, super lovable, 9 out of 10. Articuno, my favorite of the three birds, 8 out of 10. Zapdos, it's okay, 5.5 out of 10. Moltres, it's okay, 5 out of 10. Dratini, it's really cute, 7 out of 10. Dragonair, very majestic, 7 out of 10. Dragonite, really cool, 8.5 out of 10. Mewtwo, amazing legendary, 10 out of 10. Mega Mewtwo X, it's okay, 6 out of 10. Mega Mewtwo Y, I thought it was a Mega Mew at first, but it's pretty decent, 6 out of 10. Mew, really cute, really interesting Pokemon, and one of my favorite mythicals, 10 out of 10. Meltan, again, really cute, and one of my favorite mythicals, 10 out of 10. And Mel Metal, it's really cool in my opinion, I really like it, 9 out of 10. Okay, and that's my opinion on every Kanto Pokemon. Now, Kanto has a lot of Pokemon, since it was the first region, and to be honest, Kanto has a lot of Pokemon that are just okay to me. But there are a lot of classic mons, and some of these, and some of these are considered as some of the most popular, well-known, and beloved Pokemon. If you enjoyed today's video, then please leave a like, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias, link in the description below as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.